This is the Kaltenbach SKL 450 NA automatic circular cold saw for non ferrous sections and solids. The machine consists of the, uh, the saw head itself here, it's located underneath that pink hood. and the material feed gripper, which is to the left of the machine. So the machine feeds from left to right. The feed gripper has a 39 inch single stroke and the machine will double stroke as standard, so automatically it'll feed through about 78 inches. Again, the sawn unit is located at the right of the machine. And this door here in the front is the main access door to get to the blade, change the blade and the drawer to the bottom is uh, the removable chip drawer. Both hoods are safety interlocked, so if the hood comes up, uh, the blade automatically retracts down below the table. Lift up the hoods here. This is the sawing area here. You can see the blade below the table runs up to an 18 inch non ferrous carbide tip saw blade. Vertical clamp is standard, clamps material on both sides of the blade during cutting. Uh, this is an optional horizontal clamp that we can fit to the machine. This unit here is the uh, feed gripper and the shuttle style system. Has two horizontal clamps, one at the front and one at the rear. You grab the material uh, and pull it forward uh, to uh, to the sawing area and you know, to the preset length. The table does miter uh, as standard, as stops at 45 left, 90, and 45 right. Uh, you can run parallelograms and automatic. Uh, I think down to 45 degrees and everything else that needs to be done semi-automatic. You can see the scale and the veneer down here below the table for the miter angles and then there's a, a handle that sits in this hole and you can swivel the table around uh, to do any miter cutting. Then feed roller table. This is the uh, readout for the length. Kind of hard to pick up, it says 2.5 Zero, 0 inches, um, but to set the length, uh, push these buttons here uh, to activate uh, this stop nut that moves up and down the lead screw, and this is what the, uh, the rear end position for the feed gripper. Uh, so once that uh, is set close, and uh, over here you have a fine position wheel here, and then a stop nut to lock in the length. open up the main door here. There is a uh, mechanical electrical interlock on that. Uh, you have to wait about uh, you know, 20 or 30 seconds before the door will open. Uh, that's so you can't get in there with a blade running. Here's the main feed cylinder. It's a hydro, hydro pneumatic feed for the blade feed. And you can see the, the uh, nozzles for the uh, AccuLube system, which is the uh, coolant atomizer system lubricates the blade and you can see in there uh, the blade with the flange and it's four bolts in the flange take the blade off and put back on it takes about well, three or four minutes to change the blade and here's the big chip drawer the chip exhaust can be supplied with the machine and this would disappear and we put an air bar and down in the middle there and uh, uh, evacuate the chips out the back of the machine through the chip exhaust. This is your feed control here. So this would be the, uh, the feed of the blade through the material. Um, set millimeters per minute. And there is a key lock in there. Uh, so uh, 
at the start of the day, you know, supervisor come in and set the feed rate and um, take out the key so the operators can't mess with the feed rate if you want. This is the main uh, control console here. Uh, main on and off. Uh, this is a, uh, a fault indicator if the door is open. Um, that would be blinking. Uh, set up and run mode. Uh, this is your cycle start buttons here and cycle stop. This button here is the blade height setting uh, just by push button. So while it's blinking, it's not set. So you listen for the blade to cut through the material when it finishes. Hit the button, it'll go to the same place every time. Uh, two speed motor, uh, when we're cutting aluminum with the uh, carbide tip blade, we use number two speed. Uh, these here are uh, uh, vertical clamp up and down manually. This is for setup. Uh, this here, moving the feed carriage backwards and forwards and clamping and unclamping. Again, that would be a setup uh, function there. Uh, this is the double stroke option here, so if you press that button, uh, then the machine will go uh, stroke twice. And it would be uh, the chip exhaust there. That would be the button for the chip exhaust. This button here is the what we call the clamping aid function. And I'll just kind of describe the way the machine works. In normal automatic, the feed gripper will go back to the set length, four inches, let's say, grab the material, bring it forward, the vertical clamp will come down, and then the feed gripper will release, go back to its set length, and then uh, cut and clamp, and uh, away it goes. With the uh, clamping aid option, the grip will grab the material, bring it forward, and hold uh, the material uh, horizontally uh, during the cutting process, and this helps out uh, if you're doing a layer uh, work like this job here we just got done doing here. You can see there's four pieces there that uh, if you were to let go of it horizontally it would fall all over the place. So we use a clamping aid option on there uh, to maintain the, the pack, let's say, uh, during the cutting process. So it helps out if you're doing a layer uh, of extrusions. Now I'm going to run uh, short stick of material. It's about a one by two uh, hollow extrusion. We cut into two and a half inch cutoff lengths. Watch the automatic cycle, brings the bar in, vertical clamp comes down, blade up and down. And during the blade auction, the horizontal clamps are going back to grab the new bar. You can see the horizontal clamp coming in, we're not using it right now, but you can see how it actuates. If you're doing a raft, so it's holding material to the back fence before the vertical clamp comes down. So again, this is the Kaltenbach SKL 450NA automatic circular cold saw for non-fair sections. If you have any questions, you can contact Kaltenbach at 800-825-5729.